going to Bangkok first, so I'll be taking Jetstar there, and then from there I will take a bus to Pattaya. Yeah. Because most of the food stalls are not open, so I decided to just go to the Sets Lounge because it's the only one that has some promise of food. Let me check it out. What's here? Ooh, okay. Hash brown, chocolate tiao. It's 9.12 now and I've just arrived in Bangkok so my bus to Pattaya is at 11am and so I still have quite a bit of time. I will try my luck to see whether I can get a 10am bus. Um, I think it's on level 1 first floor. Yeah. So if I can reach that earlier that's great then I have more time to rest. I'm now at floor 2 so oh wait there's the stairs to go down. Zoop. You turn. For those that are taking public transport, you also have to go down, but I think it's one more floor down. Level 1 is where all the buses and taxis seem to be. I'm supposed to collect my ticket at one of these places. Okay, this is the level 1 and basically it's the one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes to Pattaya and unfortunately I can't change my timing is at 11 a.m. I still have a bit of time so maybe I can go and eat. Hopefully I don't miss the... I think we are all going to the same few places but yes, I bought my ticket online so to ensure that I have seats. So please do that. I'll drop the link below. Let's go eat. So let's go and check out. While waiting for the bus, you can actually stock up on your logistics and food if you're hungry to be on the go. So there's a 7 nearby. Um, buy whatever sandwiches that you need. The trip should be around one and a half hours. And yeah, I hope I don't get too hungry. It's like very well established, but I guess I have to come here tomorrow to take the bus back to the to to Bangkok. Uh, yeah, and I'm trying to take a grab over, but apparently they don't allow grab. So I'm like walking down the road to down here to get a get a grab. Hopefully, if the grab actually comes here. Okay, so I've just reached my hotel at last. Uh, it took so long. Look at that, it's so cute. Uh, Check-in is at 2. I'm half an hour early. I hope they let me in because it's actually raining. I have don't have very good luck with places with beaches nearby. The last time I went to Phuket, it was raining like mad. But okay, can't wait. The beach is literally just right in front there. They don't bring it I have checked in my hotel at last after so long. It's a self check-in thing, but in the end I had to go to the counter. I was welcomed by a lot of smiles when I entered the room. A uh, rather cute TV here and the view itself though, um, it's interesting because it's a view of my neighbours. Do I really want to look at them showering or changing this me? And I guess some housing area. Toilet wise, it looks... A bit small to be honest. It's segregated into two parts. The first part is the shower area and the other one is the normal toilet and what's good is that it comes with a bidet. I think it's just that the lighting is very very dark. Well, I'm just getting older but I'm just staying here for one night so I think it should be not too bad. Yes! I didn't turn the beauty mode on but it looks like my skin is glowing. Well from this little screen lah but Hour and now I'm heading over to explore the area. It's super super close to the beach. I like it like that. Um, it was raining earlier and thankfully it got better right now. Um, yeah, the beach is literally just uh, less than five minutes away. I'm quite excited to see it because last time I was in Phuket, it was raining the whole time. I'm not very 
lucky with beaches in all sense of the way. Hey, I'm now at the beach. <laughs> super, super close. Okay, good choice to stay there. What's around the area? I have no idea. Oh my god, there's so many little speedboats, ferry, no, speedboats, is that what it's called, all these little things? So the thing is, I previously booked tickets for Bangkok and I thought it might be a good idea to explore the areas around it and Pattaya was like, two hours away, why not try something different, go to the beaches, right, other than Phuket. Um, so yes, here I am, I'm here for two days, one night and I, yeah, this is something, I guess. I'm a bit sad because I can't see the Pattaya sign there. It's like all the way on the other side, but there's quite a bit of fog there. So my next step is basically to go to a cafe and then hopefully go to the temple, the Sanctuary of Truth. It's, I keep seeing it on Instagram and I'm like, okay, I definitely have to check it out. What else is there to do here? I, to be honest, have no idea. But tomorrow I'm leaving quite early at 10 a.m. So I'm sure I can find quite a number of things to do. There's a few cafes I want to go to actually. But yeah, it's just traveling back and forth. I'm very, very hungry. I can only find cafes and all they do is like sell uh, coffee. But I need food. I don't know what's good around here. Maybe I should go to the mall. Yeah, it's a mall. It's like Terminal 21 here or Cent Central World Sentan. Yeah. <laughs> I got myself a green milk tea while waiting for my grab because it's taking me like 20 minutes too long. I think like, I see a lot of people taking these little trucks. Maybe I should figure out how these trucks work and whether they will be able to get me to places much easier or I just have to just start taking the bike or something. But... I didn't know there'll be so many people at the Sanctuary of Truth. I got my tickets from trip.com, so I think I'm supposed to join the queue and claim it from there. Okay, what I didn't know is that this whole place is like a whole complex of different things. So the temple that's made of wood is just one of it. And there's like elephants and a few other displays. Like this random water feature. I don't know. Okay, so this is the reason why I'm here. It's to see this. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Wow. This is the entry point to check out the museum, which is on the other end. I, I'm actually quite confused. It's like a temple or museum, but either way, I'm gonna check it out. Okay, so what's interesting about this place is that at the first part, there's actually a craft area where they run through how some of the craft is being done and and then you actually get to see the real thing. It's, yeah, it's, it's quite good actually to be honest. There's also random elephant rides and horse rides also. Um, I guess tourists really like it, but I think this is really amazing. Everything's made out of wood and no nails are being used apparently. activities you can do like getting on a elephant or horse pool what's this i think there's some event there can you hear that is freaking cool it's giving me very out of this world well it's called mars for a reason it's a valentine's day special today and you look at the main area wow it's like a different very out of this world it's 
So this is one of the parts that looks like Mars, obviously, and the other one is like the moon, I guess. <laughs> Very power puff karaoke vibes. Am I in a Britney Spears music video? Got myself coffee and a dessert. It's some blueberry thingy. It's the beach area at night. It's still very lively and very bright. It feels very, very safe. Everybody's just enjoying themselves and it's literally right across the road. Uh, my Airbnb is somewhere at the front there, but yes, it's very vibrant, lively, and there's quite a lot of activities happening in front as well. Uh, bars and stuff. And okay, McDonald's is somewhere in front. I'm actually hungry, I'm not sure what to get. I want KFC though. Good morning, Pattaya. So, uh, today's my last day. Also my second day, but I am heading over to Bangkok soon. So I am just gonna go for a quick walk at the beach, which is the other side. Okay, I'm gonna do this flip again. See, literally just there on. Oh my god, the beach looks stunning today. Um, I didn't know there was a lighthouse here. This area is really, really quite safe. Oh, oh my god, is this supposed to be like a ship or something? Looks like it. Uh. Like it's a ship. Oops, sorry. Ship with the lighthouse here. Quite a number of fancy restaurants here. So yes, you can tell, either I'm walking very fast or it's just super convenient. Uh. To be honest, I'm not a very like a beach kind of person. I'm a beach, but I don't really like going to the beach because it's like always so sandy and the weather's so unpredictable. I'm always like, I always over plan, so in my bag I always carry a lot of things. So, but but this is nice. It's a nice surprise. Wow. Yeah, I, I get the charm now. I guess just some beach ASMR. I guess, and my hair looks good here today. I'll take a selfie also. I'm dressed in red because New Year blessings. <laughs> There's a lot of these beach chairs around the area and to be honest, I'll feel a bit claustrophobic. I'm not sure whether you can actually move those chairs to the front or something, but yeah. I guess the water activities haven't started yet. It is super, super bright for like 7.40am in the morning. Number of accommodation around the beach area. Uh, the one that I stay at is, I guess, quite decent, so I'll definitely recommend it. Although the room might be a bit small and the uh, amenities is mad, but to be honest, it's, it's quite a good deal, I would say. So this is the North Pattaya bus terminal. Uh, this was not where they dropped me off yesterday. This is, uh, yeah, so much more spacious. I think yesterday they just dropped me off at some random stop. But anyway, so once you arrive, if you bought your tickets online, you can claim in at the check-in counter. If not, you can still buy tickets. There's a few stops. Um, I am heading to Akamai bus terminal because it's nearer to where my hotel is and it's more nearer towards the, I guess, central part of uh, Bangkok. If you want to go Mochit, there are different counters. If you want to go to the airport, I think there are tickets here as well. Oh yeah, but it's a separate station altogether. So once you arrive here, there's actually a convenience store in case you want to buy some food. Yeah, there's a huge, massive waiting area. That's nice. So you can wait even though you're early, everybody's like rushing to get on the bus. I got mine online because I don't want to risk it. So it's slightly expensive to buy online, but it's okay. I think for a safer peace of mind, you don't have to come here and all to buy it and to ensure there's seats for you. Yep different bus timing for different venues. Let's see what else is here. Toast. Okay, I'll just wait for my bus then. It's two and a half hours to Bangkok, so yep. So 
now in Bangkok and this is the Akamai bus terminal, the Bangkok's East bus terminal I guess. Everyone's queuing and yes it's super near the BTS so it's super convenient. So glad that I'm back here.